What's going on everybody? My name's Razorian Mark. So today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what is inside a compass pass card. Now these aren't the um, big giant plastic ones that you buy and refill. These are the ones you get at the vending machine if you're just going for a trip and want to come back and never ride the SkyTrain ever again. Now, this is from BC, so yeah, this is from the SkyTrain. I don't know uh, where you're watching this. I don't know if you have a plastic situation like this where you're from. These are the cards right here. So what the plan is, is I'm going to tear these apart and we're going to look inside to see what's in them. This is not a video about how to uh, get free transit or how to scan the system, it's nothing like that. I just thought for educational purposes we would uh, see what's inside these cards and see how the whole thing works. So if you take these cards and you hold them up to the light, I don't think you'll be able to see this right now, but you can actually see that there is a chip inside here, a chip and an antenna. Okay, so I plugged this kettle in and we just gotta wait for the water to heat. While we're waiting for this to heat up, um, I am gonna say, like, there is no way to hack the SkyTrain. This is not like a crazy, like, get around the system kind of thing. This is just, uh, it's really interesting what's in these cards. I've already done it. And I think you guys would find it a little bit interesting too. So uh, that's why I decided to make this video. Um, if you do it yourself at home, you could show your friends and be like, hey, look what's inside uh, one of these transfers. But uh, as far as like trying to figure out a way to uh, scan the system, I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna happen. It's taking a while. So you basically just sit here for a really long time. Next thing you wanna do is just start picking away at it. You do want to take your time with it. You can see here, I'm starting to get a little bit. That's one side. If you want to see the whole transparent uh, microchip and stuff inside here, you want to do both sides. So now we're going to do the other side. So what you're looking at here, this these lines that go right around the entire edge of the card, that is the antenna, I believe. So hard to make out. I believe that square right there is the microchip. Whether um, you're in the right zone, like the, the right place in the SkyTrain, uh, how, how much time you have left on the card, that stuff is stored at the SkyTrain uh, center wherever, the, the business, they, they hold on to that. All this card has is a number. So then they look it up, they go, okay, this card number, one, two, three, four. Then they look up on their computer and they say, this card has um, 32 minutes left of travel until it's no good. So then after 32 minutes, you go to scan in and it basically looks up, one, two, three, four and the system says this has no more time on it, therefore it, it can, like cancels the card. The place for all the information stored, they're the ones who cut off the card and say this, this number is no good anymore. As far as I know, that's how it works. Now, I don't work there. I haven't done all that much research on it. So, can these be hacked? The answer is no. There is a number in here and when you go, when you buy the ticket, it activates the number on their side. Not in here, this doesn't change at all. And even if you did, 
and you change the number from 1234 to 1235, then that number would still have to be activated on their side in order for 1235 to work. But if 1235 is still sitting in the machine after this one, then there's nothing to tell SkyTrain that that one's op operational, right? So I'm pretty sure you cannot hack the system, which, you know, I'm gonna say is fine right now because uh, hacking and fraud and criminal activity is terrible and you should never ever do anything like that. So I'm not saying that you should ever even try. All I'm saying is for educational purposes, I don't believe it could be done. So, I don't know, if you're bored, try doing this, but just know like it's not really good for anything. Anyways, I just thought that was a real cool thing and I wanted to show you guys. Hope you found this vlog interesting. I don't say this too much anymore, but if you want to like and subscribe to my channel, please do. Um, and I will see you again on another vlog real soon. Hopefully a couple days. Alright, peace.